Hello, I'm Hea, mascot of Guangyang City, which represents the sun rising from Guangyang Bay. Mechon Huanghyun from Guangyang was a historian, a writer, and a poet in the late Joseon Dynasty. He was also a patriot who criticized the royal court and its politics. Patriot Mae Chong Hang Yeon and his poem Chol Myung. It was late Joseon. Hwang Hyun was born as a descendant of Hwang Hee in Sosong Mi, Bonggang Myon in Guangyang. He was so smart that he wrote poetry at the age of 11. The sound of wild geese is heard by adults. Ah, he will become a great scholar. At the age of 20, in 1874, Huang Hyun went to Seoul and became friends with Gang Yi, Kim Taekyong, and Yi Gonchang, who were great writers of the time. He also became one of the great writers in the late Joseon. However, it was not easy for him to get into the royal court. Due to political corruption, at the age of 29, he passed the national exam in the first level but the examiner dropped him back to second because of his background. How could he look down on me because of my family background? I don't want to become an official in this corrupted royal court. Realizing the corruption of the national exam and politics, he gave up on being an official and went back home. Later, Huang Hyun stayed in Mansudong Gurye, taught students and worked on his poetry and writing. At the age of 34, he passed Sengwonshi and became Sengwon of Song Gyungwan. However, he witnessed the conflict between conservatives and progressives and the corruption of the royal court. Once again, he went back to his hometown. I will never become an official in this country where crazy people have taken control of everything. Later, he wrote a book of critical history, Mechon Yarok, with his nationalism and historical perspective. He also wrote collected poems, Mechon Jib, Mechon Sok Jib, and Dong Bigiryak. Mechon Yarok recorded historical events for 45 years from 1865 to 1910 in chronological order. It was written from Mechon's own perspective. This book is of important value because not only did it record every single important event, but also had stories of Bisa, Yasa, and the opinion of people. Recently, other nations requested to open up our country. Which stand should we take? We should open the country, but first change spiritual and essential attitudes. In addition, focus on gradual social changes while encouraging our national identity. However, he realized his teaching was not enough to prevent the invasion of colonial nations. When the country was forcefully annexed by Japan in 1910, he assumed his responsibility as an intellectual. On August 7th of the same year, he left four poems of Jolmyong and his will. Finally, he committed suicide. It's been 500 years since scholars were educated. However, no one sacrifices themselves for the nation. Isn't it sad? Birds and animals cry. Mountains and rivers frown. The nation of Mugunghwa is gone now. Close a book and think of past days under the fall light. It's hard to live as intellectuals in this world. Ma Chon Huang Hyun was good at writing poems, leaving about 6,000 behind. Another record mentions 8,000 poems. In one of his collections, there are 70 poems, meaning if they were all published, it would be about 100 books. He may have written the most poems in the entire history of Korea.